Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a card featuring a couple of new products for, from Lawn Fawn, the embroidered hello die and the meow you doing, doing uh, stamps and coordinating dies. I love these new products. They are so super fun and I will be sharing more projects featuring both of these in the coming week during the March Inspiration Week at Lawn Fawn. I am starting by kind of laying out the supplies I think I'm going to use. In addition to the Meow You Doing and Embroidered Hello, I'm also going to use a Valentine's Borders die, that scallop border there. And then I've got some Nina Craft cardstock here that I'm going to create my own pattern paper background using some stamps from the Meow You Doing stamp set. I'm using the yarn, the fish, and the paw print. The yarn and fish are stamped with the jet black ink and the paw print is stamped with some lobster red ink. I decided to also use the little yarn tail and I'll be adding that to all the little balls of yarn as well. I think that'll really kind of complete the look. Now I started out just doing it along the bottom edge here, kind of where I knew my top panel would overlay, but I am gonna go back after a bit and add just a tiny bit of stamping at the top to give it the illusion that it's an entire piece of pattern paper. I wanted to do something a little different than stamping on smooth white cardstock, so I chose this Nina cardstock instead. And I am going to go ahead and color in the images with Copic markers for the yarn and then a colored pencil for the fish. The fish, I couldn't figure out a good way to color these in. Um, I considered leaving them as is, which I think would have been totally fine. But as I get towards the end of the video, I really felt like I needed something else. And so I will be taking a white Prismacolor colored pencil and adding some color to those fish with the colored pencil because it gives you such great coverage on a darker cardstock. I couldn't find a marker that I thought would color in the images in the same way or the way that I wanted them to. I'm using just two shades of markers here, the R24 and R46. Very, very simple shading, simple coloring, nothing extravagant here at all. Next, I've got a piece of black licorice Lawn Fawn cardstock that I'm gonna take the scalloped border from the Valentine Borders die collection. This was just released this past um, January, February for Valentine's Day from Lawn Fawn. Tape that in place and also tape in place the embroidered hello, that brand new awesome embroidered hello die from Lawn Fawn. And die cut those at the same time. So you can see I'm going to drop it down a little bit so I'm definitely going to need some pattern up at the top of this panel. I'm going to take a powder bag tool to the black cardstock and finish my greeting so that it'll read, hello, meow you doing, by stamping greetings from the meow you doing stamp set. I'm gonna stamp those with Versamark ink and heat emboss that with some white embossing powder. As it is right now, the embroidered hello doesn't look that fantastic since it's just those little die cut circles. But I think these are so awesome. If you like to do some little hand stitched touches to your cards, these are fantastic. There is also an embroidered thanks available from Lawn Fun, and they are so, so cool. I did a layout with the hello that I'll be sharing here in about a week or so. I doubled up some floss here. This is actually some crochet thread that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I doubled it up to give a really nice substantial um, back stitched greeting. And all I'm doing is a classic back stitch all the way around. I tape the end, the ends of my embroidery floss to the back of this panel so that they lay flat and there's no knot. You can knot it if you wanted to. I'm going to raise this with some foam tape so I definitely could have knotted it. But I'm kind of in the habit of just using some washi tape to hold those ends down 
for anything that I stitch on paper like this. And then I am going to backstitch the whole panel. I'm not gonna share all of it because it's simply me stitching around the entire thing. One thing to keep in mind for this particular card, I wanted it to look like thread from the ball of yarn. So I am going to keep my end fairly long so I can loop it around with one of the kitties from the Meow You Do and stamp set. I'll go ahead and tape down the, or not tape down, but bring my thread up through the front of that panel, set it aside, and finish stamping the border along the top edge of my craft background, adding those fish, the little paw prints, and the balls of yarn. Just enough so it does, like I said, give the illusion that the entire panel is stamped and colored. That's going to look good. I like how that looks. I'll take the white colored pencil and color in my fish. And it gives just enough hint of color that I love how it looks on this craft cardstock. Colored pencils on craft are one of my favorite looks anyway, and I think that it's just fantastic. I've got a little scrap of Nina smooth white cardstock now that I'm going to stamp a couple of the cats the ball and the ball of yarn on. And I'm going to do that twice. I'm going to have two different cat images and then the ball of yarn and the string twice. Only one of those sets, a cat and the yarn, are going to go on the front of the card. The other set is actually for the inside of the card. I have really been loving the look of finishing off the insides of my cards, whether it be with pop-up designs or maybe just a simple stamped greeting. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Any little thing that goes on the inside of the card just finishes it off so nicely and really gives it that complete look. For this one, I thought it would be fun to add an additional cat and ball of yarn on the inside. I'm gonna color in the cat. Both cats are gonna be colored exactly the same with some warm gray markers. Warm gray two, three, six, and eight with R20 for the nose and the cheeks. And I'm just adding some fun little stripey detail here to the cat. In fact, I probably didn't have to color, color the entire animal. I really did know I was going to be chopping off part of it so because he's like coming in off the side of the card. But I went ahead and colored the whole thing here. Either way is fine. And I really worked on the cat blending, trying to get exactly the way or the color the way I wanted it to look with those dark little stripes on the back there. Once this cat is colored, I'm gonna use those same two colors of Copic markers that I used for the balls of yarn on the front of my card for the pattern paper background, R24 and R46, and color in my balls of yarn with that. Then I am going to die cut all of these images, all six of these images, with the coordinating Meow You Doin' stamp set. Very fun stamp set, especially for all those cat lovers that you know. The great thing about this stamp set, I think, and that I love that Lawn Fawn seems to be doing a lot of, is creating greetings that go with their images that you can mix and match to create just the greeting that you want. So I'm gonna position my cat here kind of holding down parts of my thread and then try to figure out the best placement for my crochet thread here. Adding little dots of Ranger multi matte Medium to hold down the embroidery floss in certain places so that it doesn't flip up. So tiny little dabs of glue here. I'll also add just a little bit of glue to the other areas. I'll hold down or place the little ball of yarn to the left of the hello. On the back of my panel, I am going to place some foam adhesive kind of all the way around the embroidered hello. I don't like to put it directly over the floss because I don't want any of that sticky material showing through any part of the uh, die cut holes. So I went all the way around it. I'll pull off all the backing and then I'm going to simply adhere that to that craft 
pattern paper background that I created at the beginning of the video. And I'm still kind of fiddling with the end of the yarn there. I'm not totally happy with it and I decided to pull it out and kind of put it underneath the embroidered hello instead, which I think I'll like a lot more. The only downside to this is that the little dab of glue I used there, it really kind of left a little bit of a smudge. I decided it didn't matter on my card and I might even go back and add something to kind of cover that up if I can find something that I think will work. But um, it just, the glue kind of, you can see it just kind of globbed out, which is very irritating to me, but like I said, I just went with it. Now on the inside of the card, I'm gonna stamp an additional greeting from the Meow You Doin' stamp set. Add my cute little kitty, the ball of yarn, a paw print, and the string. I'll snip off any of the excess on that cat once I get him adhered just a tiny bit off the back there along the bottom edge of the card. will overhang. And that will finish up this embroidered hello meow you doing card featuring lawn fawn stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Here are a couple more videos showcasing Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. The first one features the scalloped box pop-up card and the other one is a jelly bean shaker card. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.